Now let's talk about waste analysis template that will make your task easier. This is an Excel template for waste analysis and I am also going to provide the link of this waste analysis into the description section so you can download this waste analysis template for your application. Now let's start the learning of this waste analysis template. This consists of the process area for which we are going to conduct the waste analysis. This also consists of the date on which we are going to conduct this waste analysis. Typically, the frequency to carry out this waste analysis can be daily, weekly, monthly or quarterly depending on size of your processes. But we need to carry out this exercise frequently so that we can identify all the eight types of waste from your processes, we can take the actions on them and we can improve the speed of the processes. This waste analysis template consists of five columns. The first column is waste that is consists of all the eight types of waste that we had seen earlier. What is the definition of that waste? I have also provided some of the examples to understand what is that particular type of waste. The fourth column is about the impact of that particular waste on your product or process performance that you can identify during this waste analysis. And the last column is description of issues. Here you need to mention all your findings in short. Once you complete all these waste analysis exercise, then we need to take all these issues from this description column and then we need to create the action plan for all of these issues. We need to mention who is going to work on that and what will be the target date for completion of that particular activity. We can also implement the review mechanism to identify what is the status of elimination of that waste. Let me explain you one of the waste here. The first waste is defects. What is a defects? Any information, products and services that are incomplete or inaccurate is called as a defect. Now what are the examples? Let's see some of the examples that are indicating defects waste like inaccurate applications, broken parts and missed deadlines. There can be the different examples considering your product or services. So you need to identify what are the defects in your product or processes during the waste analysis. And all these defects you need to insert into this description column. What will be the impact of all these issues on your important KPIs you can consider or you can mention that here into the column of impact. If it is having the high impact, you can mention it as a high. If it is having the medium or low impact, we can also mention medium or low there. The indication of impact in this column will help you later to prioritize the issues on which we need to work first. Let's talk in another example that is explaining this impact and description of issues. During the waste analysis, we have found that occasionally coffee orders are made with a real milk when soya milk was requested. So this is a defect because inaccurate information is carried out. Now we can also identify what is the impact of it. It's having the low impact, right? So we can mention there as a low. This impact ranking will help us later as I already explained to you. Let's take another example for the waste. Overproduction. What is overproduction? Making more of something, making it earlier or faster. What are the examples of it? Extra copies of reports, redundant storage, hard and soft, reply all on emails. This is also the overproduction. Now, if we continue this waste analysis in case of our dining room, we can see making too much coffee in the morning and wasting stock of coffee beans. This is overproduction. We have made a copy in large quantity than it is needed. The impact of this issue will be medium because lot of coffee beans is going to be wasted here. The third type of waste is waiting. What is the waiting waste? Waiting for information, equipment, materials, parts or people. What are the examples for it? Waiting for approvals, waiting for equipment, waiting for large batches. Let's continue with the same example to identify this waiting waste in our dining area. Customers waiting too long for the lunch orders. And what is the result of it? There are complaints about returning late from the lunch hours. What will be the impact of this? High impact. The high impact for this issue is indicating that we need to prioritize reduction or elimination of this waste on top priority. The fourth waste is non-utilizing talent. Definition of this waste is not properly utilizing people's experience, skills, knowledge or creativity. The examples of this waste are like employees unable to make decisions, employees not fully trained, 
skilled employees doing unskilled tasks. In our example, let's see where is this kind of waste. Too few people able to operate the resistor, occasionally this becomes as a bottleneck. And what will be the impact of this issue? That will be medium. The next type of waste is a transportation. What is the definition of this waste? Unnecessary movement of materials, information or equipment. The examples of this waste are like hands up between functions, multiple reviews and sending resending emails. Let's see in our example where is this kind of waste. Moving a lot of supplies between two different bistro locations. The impact of this issue is high. Again, we need to prioritize this waste while we are going to plan the actions. The next type of waste is a inventory waste. What is this waste? Accumulation of parts, information, application, etc. beyond what is required by the customer. The examples of this waste are like stockpiling supplies, information piling up for data entry, keeping data longer than necessary. Let's find this type of waste in our example. Stockpiling a year's worth of coffee beans, wasting space and at the same time run a risk of stale coffee. The impact of this issue is medium. The next waste is motion. What is a motion waste? Any movement by the people that is not of value to the customer. The examples of this waste are like repetitive keystrokes, walking between equipment, switching applications. In our example, let's see where is this type of waste. Employees frequently walking between dining room, kitchen room and stock room. So this is indicating of motion waste. The impact of this issue is high. Again, we need to prioritize this. And the last type of waste is extra processing. What is the definition of this waste? Unnecessary processing or activities in the process that do not add value. For example, extra formatting, extra fields, extra features, extra detail or extra report information. Let's see in our example, where is this extra processing waste? Some staff writing both first and last names on the coffee cups. So this is the extra processing. The impact of this is low. There is another example for the waste analysis that I have included into this waste analysis template. You can download this template and you can go for waste analysis for this transportation process in detail later. This is all about waste analysis. Let's see the another important topic in Lean Six Sigma into the next video. At the end of this video, if you have found this information useful, then please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to learn Lean Six Sigma and Minitab most effectively and practically, then please visit at vijayasabe.co slash join or successfulcareerhub.com slash courses. One more important thing. If you want to support me or appreciate my efforts, you can also join my YouTube channel by clicking the join button at my YouTube channel. By joining this YouTube channel, you are not only supporting me, but also getting an access to the perks that can help you in your career goal. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.